We're here at the Long Beach Harbor. Every Friday we have date night, or most Fridays, and to, to kind of break off our super busy working schedule. And this week we turned it into a date day, and we are going a to Catalina. Day. We were up at 5 a.m., which is really early. I was training all week to try to get up earlier and go to bed earlier, and now we are here, and it's very early, like six, we have the house. Right now, it's, right now it's seven. Seven? Oh, yeah. it's not that early anymore. And we are just waiting to board the Catalina Ferry, and we are going to try to sit on top, and we're gonna Good, go nice view, some fresh air. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. We are so looking forward to it. This is my second time in Catalina. It's my first. You got you almost got kicked off last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. I mean, I didn't know. I came straight from south of France. I didn't know you can't go topless on the beach. But <laughs> it's another day and another story. <laughs> So, oh, sorry, it's a little bit cold. Hey, I'm like, no splashing. I'm trying to answer an important question here. All right, when this question was first sent in, I had to do a little follow-up because with medications like this, they're excreted 99 plus percent from the body via the urine within 24 hours. So, from following up with the person who asked, it's not that it's an excretion problem, but that this medication, the ibuprofen, is doing a world of damage to the gut. Now, there's a ton of things you can do to heal the gut. Uh, and we've done whole other videos about those, so I'll put a link to that here uh, for you to go check out. Uh, there's a ton of things. You can uh, take colostrum, you can take ion biome, um, you can uh, have fermented foods you can have things that are high in butyrate you can take probiotics that are going to be healing the gut uh, Ana Blanca is over there saying cultured vegetables <laughs> of course cultured vegetables Keeper. and so that's a whole nother topic uh, but definitely definitely do those things and start actively working on healing your gut you can also look at something like a supplement called the mega IgG um, is another great one so that's one thing, uh, but I'm always into, as you know, getting to the root of what's actually going on. So the root here is that the person explained to me, she's got fibroids and very painful periods to the point where she's taking ibuprofen the week before her period, the week of her period, and the week after her period. And first, let me say fibroids are so fucked up. Uh, they're just the absolute worst. Now, this is a huge hormonal issue that we're talking about here. So I would highly encourage you to speak with your doctor about getting a full hormone panel done. Not just, you know, two or three hormones like they sometimes will test. You gotta look at everything and get a real understanding of what's going on here. Uh, if you wanna get a good look at what is on a panel like that, you can go check out Wellness FX online and look at their, like, uh, I forget what it's called, but like their full women's panel. It costs like a little under $400 if you wanna do it with them rather than through your doctor, but if you do it through your doctor, probably you can get insurance to cover a good chunk of it. And that will give you a much better understanding of where you're at hormonally and where you need to work on it and, and get things balanced out because you should not be in a situation like this. And with fibroids, uh, a couple things to think about with those. Uh, one is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is one of the greatest herbs for fibroids, but it's not gonna work overnight. Um, ashwagandha also for stress, for balancing hormones as well, but it's not gonna work overnight. This is something you gotta, you know, be in it for many months. You're looking at, you know, for fixing real hormone imbalance, it can take anywhere from six months to uh, even in some situations, a couple years, because it's so complex and it's taking you a long time to get your body into this state. So it's gonna take some time to reroute things, but that's not to say you're not gonna see any benefit for those number of years uh, or, or number of months or whatever, but it's just, it's progressive, it takes time. And then also systemic enzymes, one specifically called serapeptase. This is 
not an enzyme that you take with food, it's not a digestive enzyme, it's a systemic enzyme, meaning you take it on an empty stomach, and ideally you wanna get something called enteric coated serapeptase, because you wanna protect it from anything going on in your stomach. You don't want it to start being used for digestion or, or broken down or killed off there. You want it to survive longer so that it can actually go to work healing things in all other areas of your body, and specifically, serapeptase goes and eats up dead, sick tissue like what you have in your fibroid. This is amazing, and you wanna do a pretty solid dose of this. I always say you take as much serapeptase as you can afford, but I would try to aim for 10 capsules a day, and you wanna take it with a lot of water also, because when you're taking it, you wanna even dilute your own digestive enzymes even further, because you don't want them to damage the serapeptase. And that is another very, very powerful uh, way of going after your fibroids. Now, on the topic of fibroids, I say this because I don't want to scare you. I just want to educate you uh, because hopefully, you know, you, you get after these fibroids and within a year or two, they're gone. They're a thing of the past. But also, so you know for the future, if it comes to the time where you are trying to start a family, um, the latest research that literally just came out last year uh, on fibroids is that, you know, it was always thought that they could uh, inhibit implantation, uh, but the latest research is that they actually secrete uh, inflammatory cytokines that have an epigenetic effect on the cells lining the uterus to the extent where they can decrease fertility possibilities by up to 70%. Uh, so this is something that it's great you're aware of that you have, and it's great that you're seeking out now information and gonna get started on healing these. Um, and so you're in a pretty rough spot at the moment, but the great thing is there's so many tools available to you. And in terms of hormone balance, I, you know, we've done so many videos on that. I put together recently a whole page on our website, uh, which I'll put a link to here. And that is where I've, I've just collected all the videos we've made about hormones. So um, you've got uh, some, some viewing to do over there. And I think you'll find some really useful information there to help you out. After a couple of nice hours at the beach, we had a great swim, hung out on the sand, had some lunch. Now we are getting back on the road, heading off for some more adventures around the island. Now up here, this apparently is the casino. And we're not really sure if this is a currently active casino or if it's just a casino where they used to go wild back in the day. And now it's maybe more of a museum. Let's go take a look. This is all closed now, but it looks like it's some sort of a theater nowadays, but apparently not today. It used to be the Catalina Casino. We just dropped off our bikes, time to return them, but we still got a couple hours here, so we're headed over to dinner now. I'm gonna walk around these like really quaint, picturesque streets a little bit more. It's just really like uh, and we've been meeting some wonderful people. We were walking onto the pier, it's over there. See? You see all these people on the pier? So it turns out that there is a memorial service there today. Hundreds of people are there and it is such a beautiful thing. I talked to one of the ladies, I said, looks like the person who is memorial service it is today is somebody was very important to a lot of people in town. She says, yeah, his name was Pete and he lived on the island for 40 years. He came on a came over on a boat and never left. And he built almost uh, all the homes ever since and uh, they did such beautiful montages and printed out everybody's favorite picture and they clipped it up in this long um, with the lights and uh, I was talking with this lovely couple with a little young child and they said and he worked on our home it was the last home that he worked on and everybody even had a t-shirt that said very speed so it looks like he was a really loved person and he was very, very, uh, will be missed by the community here in Kathleen Island. And it was just so wonderful to see and, and to get to know some people who were at the service. Yeah, it was really a, a sweet and unexpected, really special moment. Yeah. And then of course we left because they didn't, want, exactly to intrude, place. didn't want to intrude on, on people's private moments, but, but it was just, it was beautiful to see how strong and loving the communities of people who live here in Catalina. And 
Casablanca.